I'm here, I promise. Hang tight. I was just up uploading the animated emotes. They work now. But I, Greg's already on Orlando, dang. I'm trying to see if they show up automatically here. Yeah, probably got a refresh or something, who knows. So we got two animated emotes. Y'all check in your emotes, see if you see them. Let me go to the page here. I will catch up, I will catch up with chat here in just a second, but <clears throat> I'm in the middle of doing this here. Let's see, where is me? There is me. Hey, there they are, y'all got them. Whoop, we got the chair and we got a writing nib. Is there an echo in here? Good, y'all got them. Okay, I can put my laptop away. Oh, let me tell Sleepy they work. All right, spot them, got them. Casual Thursday skateboard, Brad. This is, okay, let's chat. <laughs> let's talk, chat. So, you get casual Brad today. You get sleepy-eyed Brad today. Because Brad was up past, past midnight looking for Bungu Box emails for a pin to match this shirt, right? I was looking for a pin to match this shirt. So I thought I might stay up last night, see if I get like the first batch of like launch items for for the pin. We were watch starts at about eleven PM Eastern. So we were uh we were chilling out on Slack. So people were people were getting the emails. Emails were coming. People were ordering the pins. Um, everything was looking groovy. I did not get an email. So I don't own this pin, by the way. So um Apparently, people think I already have this pen, probably for me joking around about this pen, the 823, uh, uh, Fujiyama Blue 823. Um, I, I don't own this pen, I promise. See, I don't own it. Um, so people were like, why are you here? I was like, I'm trying to buy the pen just like y'all. So um, no email from me. Gave up after about an hour. But what they were doing is sending out, I knew they were sending out in groups, but then once you get the link to buy, you have five days to buy. So they're not, I think it's going to be kind of like a long drawn out. Hopefully I get picked. If not, no big deal. Not the end of the world. So I was up until like 1230. Then I was, I had to set my alarm for seven this morning. Of course, my family was up long before that because I had next week's podcast recording was recorded at 8 a.m. this morning my time with CY at like 9 p.m. his time uh, over in Japan. So I'm hot off the mic uh, with CY. We recorded about an hour and a half, uh, finished about 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, and yeah, it was a good show. We C and I, CY and I could talk for just hours about nothing and uh it would be great so i tried to tried to have a little bit of threaded conversation and uh it was it's a good show y'all gonna like it this will be next week's podcast next wednesday we'll have um cy's thing so yes no bod i'm actually kind of glad the bungu box thing was last night um because i might get up early tomorrow and go um yeah, it may take a while. So people got in the second batches of emails. Like as people bought bought them, more emails came. Yeah, long episode, about an hour and a half. Well, depending on the editing, which there shouldn't be too much, but it'll probably be like an hour and a half uh, episode. I've got uh, I've got front and back show notes here that I gotta get through. Um, that I gotta get through on uh, the preparation, but we got time since uh, Mike will be in. Uh, at St. Jude's next week doing um, doing that. Remember my offer for a coffee pit stop? I did forget about that. I am forgetting. I am not ready. I am not ready to leave tomorrow. Um, I literally, between the time I ended recording with CY and the time I started this stream, I went and started laundry. <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. So that's how this stream is going to go today. It's going to be it's going to be messy, kind of like this bag that I need to empty out here. Um, before I go to Orlando. So how was your early morning chat with CY? It was wonderful. We finished about 20 minutes ago, um, went recorded about an hour and a half long episode, and it will be out next week. 
you can remain safely anonymous until you go to the show, right? Are you going to go to the show regardless? How's Tyler? He is golden. He's been back at school for a little bit now. So, uh, he's doing good. Doing good. So, oof. I appreciate you asking. All right, let's get this going here. All right, so we are scatterbrained more than normal today. So, yeah, CY and I's conversation will good. Uh, Brad, congrats on the rickshaw not case. Receive mine in at Stellar. Nice. I'm going to try, but you won't know who I am. Hmm. We'll work on this. Still can't smell things? God. Are you feeling better in general besides like that that lingering effect? You could just be a random. Stream giveaway. Let's go right out the gate. Greg's already in Orlando. So did Bungbox send out more than one batch of emails last night? Allegedly. So there were people got them right when they said they were going to do them. And then like 30 minutes later, they, they sent out some more. Uh, often to the same people. <laughs> Who got them the first time? So, um, all right, let's do a giveaway. Thank you, Greg, for that redemption. CY is back in Japan. Yes, so we had to coordinate time zones, and since I was going out of town, like for the next few days, I had to get it early. <clears throat> had to get it early. All right, so we can do. We'll at least do a bungu box keychain. See if I got anything like really good swag in here. Um, for giveaway. I think this is just mostly like my mess of stuff. Not necessarily like giveaway items. <clears throat> yeah. So, all right. Closet of Doom. Closet of Doom. What do we got here? Hmm. We just did all that stuff. Oh, let's do this. This has been sitting here for a bit. Let's do a pastel Shiba. I still have a bunch of these left. I might put these on sale. Um, like I said, I probably need to, I probably need to just go ahead and sell them. <clears throat> so let's do Retro 51 Pastel Shiba. This is my com uh, collaboration with uh, Mint Lotica, uh, who did the 8-bit artwork there, which is really cool. One of my favorites. Love this color. This is probably my most used. Uh, out of all of the collaborative um I did I can't rub. Out of all the collaborative um, Retro 51s, pardon me while I fix my camera. I usually do this ahead of time, but. We're running a little bit behind today. All right. <clears throat> so, um, oh, the Sailor's more tiny than the UEF. Interesting. My wife liked my pastel Shiba so much, I. I had to buy one for it. Yeah, like I think this is my most used, um, most used one. Good morning, Tess. Love your face. So yeah, let's give this one away. I have a bunch of these left, so we might have to put we might have to put them on sale. Um, so number two eighty eight, and then we'll include uh, the Bungu box keychain that I bought with purchase. Yeah, sorry, I try to do my camera thing. I can't get my camera to keep the settings, so. We're just always messing with it now. <clears throat> All right, let's do this giveaway. Thank you, Greg, for the bits redemption, or the ink drops redemption, I should say. All right, giveaway. How is how is Orlando right now, Greg? Is it very Orlando-y? Hot, warm, and busy. What camera is it? It's a great question, O4A. Awesome question. <clears throat> it's a Sony something or other. It's a, my, my wife is the camera professional in this house. Toasty probably knows what camera it is. All right, uh, Pastel Shiba, let's go. Um, Hot and humid two days at Universal almost did me in, I bet, I bet. <laughs> O4A, you kind of know me a little bit, and that's probably, this is a very accurate uh, commentary on my camera. All right, open giveaway. Exclamation point raffle. You can now enter to win this Pastel Shiba and this Bungu Box keychain. So if you're not familiar with this pin, this is a collaboration I did with uh, Retro 51 and my friend uh, Susan Lin. And it's awesome. It's dope. She's a big uh, big Shiba, Shiba pet owner. Uh, Grass Jelly, is this is her current? 
Is her current Sheba Grass Jelly? I can't, I'll, I forget the names. So yeah, she did this great artwork and uh, it was a joy to work with her on this project. So let's give it away. Shame the collector's number isn't a prime. I have number 42. It's a prime number. It's too early for my nonsense chat. I don't have enough coffee. I don't have enough food. Um, and we're probably not going to go forever. Uh, very common Logitech. So I have a Logitech webcam. That's the face cam that I just took out of focus. Over here, the desk cam is like a real camera. Sony something or other. Let's see that. That's the desk cam. But yeah. A6, maybe. 41 is the answer to the universe life and everything, right? So what did I get? 42? Thank you, Namiki Winter Vlad. We we know that it's it's a long running joke um, that I made a mistake on years ago that I, I like to continually break up. Hey, you have to unpack the pack, so we need to help you unpack San Fran. So what we're gonna do is this is the bag I take to shows. Which I've got a lot of people asking me about this bag, so I need to just I need to share it because you can't buy it anymore. But I need to do it needs its own Instagram post. Um, so I but I need to empty it out of the I won't say junk because there's some fun stuff in here. Anyone who won a giveaway yesterday and today, these will not ship till next week. It's from a company called the Brown Buffalo, which is no no longer in existence. Pardon me. The 42, it's a it's a long running inside joke with myself. Hey, tell me where you can't buy this bag anymore. At least I can stop getting asked. Like I'll do its own post and I'll link people to, hey, you cannot buy this bag anymore. But I have some recommendations. This is a great bag. All right, pick a winner. Jacob. Jacob was yelling, at, wasn't Jacob yelling at the bot earlier? Let's go, Jacob. <clears throat> Let's go. first time winner though, maybe, maybe. First time winner? Question mark. I can't remember. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Congratulations. Email me at hello at penaddict.com. and I will ship this next week when I get back in town. Probably like a Monday, Tuesday type of deal. <clears throat> Celery man, what's up? Celery man has been way more committed to copying the book than, than I've been committed. I need to be committed for not getting mine done. Celery man is just on it. On it. All right, Jacob. Second time? Okay, cool. I was thinking maybe there, maybe it was a second time. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm essentially gonna bag dump. How are we selling all the Ahabi's birthday today? Uh, by making her write a post for the blog tomorrow. I told her to take tomorrow off, but I don't think she is. Almost time for NaNoWriMo again, right? I need to get ahead of it now so I can actually finish it in November because like 2,000 words a day was taking me like almost two hours a day. And but like we had something going on last last November, which cut it right in the um, right in the middle of the month. So I stopped and never got back into it. So got to get it get it again. Tried that Yamamoto bag paper for the first time last night. And I'm a convert. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's different than the life bank paper stuff, this specific formulation, um, which is good. That tipsy mood is a great, great looking pen. I love that color. Good morning, Murdoch. How are you? Probably do a bunch of evening productivity streams. Oh, then that's good. That's usually, so what I would do is at the end of the day, um, I would get out my uh, lap board and go like sit in the living room like my wife's doing something watching TV and I would get my lap board and uh, Kindle and notebook and pen and just write 
let's just like sit in there and write. So maybe I'll, I'll do that. Maybe I'll be productive along with Toasty Treat. <laughs> Yesterday was my birthday. Universal threw me a huge party. Thousands attended. Nice. You'll be at it for years since I'm only doing it on stream. It's great. I it's so cool that you're doing that. Honestly, like I think it's really really neat. And as as someone who's who's attempting it myself, it's really difficult. Um, it's a good cha it's a good challenge and a fun thing. I'll join you. I promise my agent a new novel by the end of the year, which was ambitious. You've had a year. Let's just say that <laughs> Sarah has had a year. <laughs> so I'll copy your old book and you write a new book. Deal. <laughs> I was lurking, but I couldn't ask. But was there talk about Sailor Extra Fine Nibs? I got one in the mail, but I haven't tried them before. How does it align with compared to a micro gel pen? So Mafia Geek, what um, uh, Slumberland Studio was saying, uh, they're a big fan of the Platinum UEF and that the Sailor EF was actually finer in comparison. Hey, Jasmine Marie Plans. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for swinging by. You are awesome. I appreciate you. My enthusiasm and support means a lot. Oh, I mean... You know, it's it's easy to hang out with cool people. What are you going to do, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so literally messy stream today. I am off my rocker. I am starting to sweat travel. What's up, Evan Max Twitch? Mafia Geek Regime Hydrate. I have... I had coffee all during the podcast with CY. I'm into the Coke Zeros, fake Coke Zeros now. Then I'm going to have water when I get done with this for lunch. So, if I'm more scatterbrained than usual today, that is why. I've been up. I was up late and then up early and then been busy ever from the get-go. From the jump, we've been busy. So let's uh, let's unbusy ourselves a little bit here by making some room. So yesterday when I had my wallet in here, comparing it to the Plotter Mini, which I have not started to use yet, um, but I'm going to take it to Orlando. Um, I left my wallet in here when I left the house yesterday. So that was cool, driving around illegally without my wallet. So that was fun. That was a good accident so we're gonna keep those right there and maybe we'll remember them today good job right <sighs> messy stream or not it's always a joy and pleasure to be here with you in chat i like it's a benefit for me too to be perfectly honest like i need this i need to ramble about pins for a while my uef has been made into a soft uef thus it has a bit of bounce and is now the same line with the sailor ef brad what happened to the no caffeine before you travel um that's just on a plane I'll need the caffeine tomorrow because I'll be getting up at like 4 a.m. and driving. Remember the Amodex at the pin show? I should, uh, I should buy some. So who knows what we're going to find in this bag, chat. <clears throat> so we're going to start it off. <laughs> Oof. I realized I recently learned that I am a poster by always trying to post my non-postable pins. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we have eyedropper, eyedropper stuffs. Um, so I bought two Ebonite pens from uh, Peyton Street Pens. So this has is a little uh, eyedropper kit. This bag is like a, a rickshaw Bonzi bag, Brad. Okay, I'll have to look at that and see and link people to it. So um, yeah, this is for my Ebonite pens. Oh, it's pen attic swag. So there's this. This is gonna be the most boring stream ever. This is Brad's junk, like extras. All right, see you in five, Tess. I, I should probably look at this before I put it all over here. All right, this is a cool one. So the, the Andy Wellfley came by the show on Saturday. Um, from the Erasable podcast. He also wrote a book um, called Writing is Designing, which he gifted me back in Baltimore. And then this is the stickers and pencil. This pencil's a great color, hot pink and gold. Ooh, this looks good. This is good. So yeah, like this is my life is just mostly just like stationary stuff, accessories. But that's a great sticker. 
Uh, great sticker and great pencil. Should I, would it be bad if I gave this away to y'all? Like Andy gave it to me. Like I kind of like it. What should I do? Uh, sticker from Heinz Pens, who I will see this weekend. Uh, Terry's business card from Peyton Street Pens. Oh, no, this wasn't Heinz. This is actually from Olympic themselves. Okay, my bad. I need to go check out their website. All right, we got that. Custom Nib Studio stickers. This is a cool sticker. Cats. Cats and nibs. And glowy and, and foily. Keep it, give it, keep it, give it. That's a cool sticker. Um, Snowy Studio. Got, got to meet Clarissa at the show for the first time. So that was fun. Oh, this was uh, my book part, bookmark I made in Lay's class. So we were doing inks and washes and it's a, like a bookmark for my planner or something. So I put meditation day on there, which like I've always wanted to like consistently meditate and I really never do. But I found when I do, it's so beneficial for me. Um, I also don't have it scheduled. So this is a little bookmark we made in that class um, with inks and water brushes and a laminating machine that Lay brought into class. So this is a little bookmarky. So it can hook over, hook over pages if you need like that. So that was fun. I love the guy that is comfortable with pink. I am way into pink. You would have been, you would have been proud of me last night. I, uh, I wore my pink shirt to play pickleball in last night. I wear pink as much as possible. Um, so yeah, that is that. Fun. That was a fun class. Pink is the best color. I'm not gonna disagree. Um, lanyard. Lanyard that I switched out. I do need a stick, sticker book, Inky Love. I really, really do. I need to think about that. If y'all have sticker book recommendations, let me know. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd be interested in that. Technically, pink isn't a color. Oh, are we gonna do that? Look, here's more pink. Nib Taylor buttons in pink. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. She's still here. Let's see if she's paying attention. May have just been high, may have just been a drive by. Anyone know? Anyone know? <laughs> what? I'm not going to say her name. Let's see if she's actually paying attention. <laughs> Hello, my name is. <laughs> I'm not going to say her name. She's going to have to be looking. <laughs> Hello, my name is Brad at Pen Addict. So this I should actually keep in the bag and put it on my bag. So we'll keep that over here. Then we had, um, speaking of someone in the chat room, Toasty Treat with the sticker set, Rickshaw Sinclair's, Plotters, uh, Mikai, Mikai, I told y'all I'm not gonna remember that, Crabs, Eggplants, of course, uh, and San Francisco's, Mikan, autograph some tennis balls for a giveaway. <laughs> so, Toasty Treat stickers, put that there. So this is what usually goes in the bag when I'm picking up, like literally swag stuff from like friends, right? Walking around, getting things, um, and you need a place to put them. That's why I carry this small bag um, with me at the show um, because I can just I can just uh, put them in here. Um, there's a Polaroid or Instax or I don't know what printer JC uses of me at the Nib Taylor. 
give away your show button. I want to wear that to the next show. That would be amazing. I could autograph a pickleball paddle, yeah. <laughs> Am I the only one who wishes they could request not to get stickers with every order I make? No, that's probably... I, I, I don't think you're alone in that, but I, I do like them. Get com Oh, why the eggplants? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we know. Oh, here's Toyoka Craft's business card. Look at that. Look at that desk portable thing. That's what we need, chat. That's what we need. And then we have uh, Flax. I get all the business cards. I was businessing. I'm sure several people were confused about the eggplants and not the people that know you, Toasty, and that's the most important. Um, oh, this was my, <laughs> Angela had given me this years ago and, uh, this inky converters. So it's like a little, um, little, uh, dangler for like a zipper or keychain. So I had this on the outside of my bag on my zipper and I have all these buttons on the outside. And as I was walking, it was clanking <laughs> so I could hear myself walk. Um, so the zipper, it was clanking against all these buttons. So I had to take it off. I had to take it off. So yes, I muled, uh, I muled one of my first mulings, uh, to Andrew and boy, howdy that, that pin Andrew. Wow. Oh, look at this eggplant gets held by auto mod. What is up auto mod? That's not cool. She has new sticker books. Okay, well then I will order sticker books from Angela. That makes sense. She probably had them at the show. Yeah, it was the eggplant emoji got blocked. How great is that? So yeah, there we go. So I had to remove it from um, from the bag. Any news on the pride pin being on store? No, not yet. So we'll I'll talk to Kat about that and see what's up. But um, I'll have a few in Orlando just to hand out. They're all paid for. Um, and then Kimberly will be collecting donos um, in Dallas. So also the bag allowed me, this was the donation cash. So if y'all didn't see my Instagram post, we raised $167 and then I matched that amount. So I donated $300, um, um, $334 uh, to the, uh, oh boy, I always forget the name, the Indiana, Indianapolis uh LGBTQ plus group for kids. So I forget the names. If someone wants to grab that in the chat. <clears throat> um, okay. More stickers. Did Job give me these? Was this from Job's um, at dinner? Um, yeah. Hey, thanks to everyone who who supported that. That was that was great. And we'll probably do some more with that. I think that's a, just a cool thing to continue on. So Job did a Pincho passport, and uh, um, so Job's journals. Um, you can follow them on uh, Twitch at Job's journals, right? So do that. Hey, you're welcome, Tanning Crimson. Hey, this is a better. This is a better one. So there's a better Instax with my nib. Job's planners. I felt so bad after I said that. That's what happens when you talk on the fly. I was gonna go into uh, I was gonna go into his stream the other day and go, "What's up, Joe's planners?" <laughs> and just own it. I always own my mistakes. Oh, I felt so bad. I list. I actually purposely went back and I was like, "Oh no, I think I said that," and I I I rolled it. I actually went specifically to listen to that. I was like, ah, "Yep, I said it." So, uh, more instaxes. More Panatic stickers. That was probably really loud for y'all, sorry. Put that here, probably need to bring that to Orlando. Um, Heinz pen stickers. Um, icebreakers, mandatory. Um, especially with masks. Absolutely, Summerlin Studio, 100%. Um, mandatory 
for me. I, I eat these all the time. That's my favorite mint. Um, so I brought two boxes of granola bars. Two, so 12 bars. This was the only one I came home with. That's how many granola bars I eat during the show. Um, either like breakfast, lunch, or somewhere in between just to kind of keep me going throughout the day. This was the last, the remaining um, the remaining bar. Especially because that San Francisco, like the hotel cafe, number one, it's expensive, but I don't mind if I'm, you know, captured audience, right? Um, but they would close at like one, two o'clock, so forget that. So gotta have, gotta has the foods. Oh, thank you, Inky Love. Um, I couldn't, f I didn't have the uh, the pen addict sharpie, but I always carry a sharpie, so I, I got the marker of the beast. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Um, so I carry it around. Um, carry always carry a sharpie uh, with you. Uh, okay. Oh, always carry eyeglass cleaner. So the eyeglass cleaner and mints and <laughs> granola bar are going right back in the bag. Oh, we got a pen rest from uh, CY. Um, oh, who makes these? Oh, y'all tell me who makes these. I'm, I'm blanking. Um, is it uh, Alessa? Y'all tell me. Yes, that was a Rich Stevens uh, Sharpie. So I have, another, I have a red one somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was in an old order I made. Um, yeah, so this is a, a pen rest. I think it was Alessa. But y'all correct me if I'm wrong. So see why I gave this to me at, at the pen show. Yeah, Mike at Inkdependence does them. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people that do them, but I'm trying to remember where I got that specific one from. All right. The one bad thing about this bag, uh, black interior, so things get hidden like the pen rest. So main things go back here. All right, those are done. All right, this is Quadrapod. No, this is not the Quadrapod one. Quadrapod makes the ones that you can fill ink in. I mean, maybe also rest too, but this is not a Quadrapod one. But I think um, CY did have some of those. Maybe, maybe this is Quadrapod. I swear it was like not. I could be wrong. You could be right, Evan. So I got the crystal dress. He does make glass rests like that too. Then maybe that's quadrupod. My apologies. So this goes into... Gotcha. Thank you, Evan. My bad. I bought the um, First Love Pigmented Ink from Bungu Box, and then they had samples with the different uh, glitter. See why, and I actually talk about this on the show today for next week's episode. So I haven't used that yet, obviously, because i just now unpacking it. So this is a shown design pin sleeve. So this is just the packaging. And I asked Ian for this, um, because I took the pen out in my hotel room and I set this down by the TV and it rolled behind the shelf. So I asked Ian for an extra one so I could have a, uh, picture of it. And now I just shoved this in here and I'm not going to get it back. Brad, what are your goals in attending Orlando, please? My goals are to check out what a new first time pen show is like and, uh, never having been there before. I uh, just want to check it out and see, um, see what's new. See what a see what a new show's like. Good morning, Lamy for life. Um, no real and do a lot of hanging out and talking. Uh, no real purchasing goals, but we see how that goes. But we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, extra masks, so we keep those. Those stay in the. Those stay in there. These are very, these are very um, uh, Trojan esque masks, packagings. Like, very interesting packaging. All right. We got a Kirby. 
We got a 3D printed Kirby. <laughs> um, so how cool is that? I guess mask kind of is like a face condom, right? Toasty's getting all the banned words. Shocking. Yeah, Automod hates Toasty today. It's Toasty life. But I mean, look what Kirby's doing here on the on the stream, and Toasty's getting automodded. Please, please. Orlando, you'll never find a more wretched home of uh, <laughs> hive of scum and villainy. That's funny. <clears throat> so yeah, there we go. We got Kirby. Uh, I'm gonna send this to Mike. I think. Um, what else we got here? Oh, this was. Uh, oh, let's give this. We'll give this away in a minute. Chat. Um, Yamamoto paper. This is one of their um, uh, paper samplers that uh, Taizo uh, gave to me. So we'll give this away to y'all. So it's got different, uh, it's, so it's a test kit with new chiffon cream, Cosmo Air Light, and then a bunch of other stuff. Right Stuff GA, Government COC, Smash COC. So there, there you go. So we'll give, when I, when I empty out this bag, we're actually almost done. Um, we'll give this away and then some other random stuff that I'm not keeping uh, out of here. Some stickers. This was um, this was just my notebook that I carried um, with me. And this, I put my uh, paper sampler. So this was from the paper class. I'm going to do a blog post on this stuff uh, when I get it. But these were all my samples from the paper class. So that was fun. Speaking of things, sending things to Mike, do you want another man? A hundred percent. One hundo P. Yeah, if you send it to me soon, I could send it to him in the U.S. No pressure or anything, but I hold stuff anyway. So, there you go. Um, and then I just had some show notes. I was just writing random stuff in here, testing pens. So, this is the notebook I carried with me, but then I ended up buying more paper, as one does. What is this? Oh, notes from Lay's class. The um, guides that we used in Lay's class for our notebooks. So we're going to keep all these um, to use like behind the pages for different journaling, journaling ideas, things like that. So that stays together. Um, rickshaw postcards and stickers. Uh, Andrew said he really wanted these stickers. I'm pretty sure, right? Andrew, is that what it said? So, uh, rickshaw sticker sheet and postcard. <laughs> We're holding these for Andrew. <laughs> we'll put that in the giveaway as well. <laughs> uh, John, I need this business card. Uh -huh. Oh, here's here's the lanyard I switched over to. I bought this from Inky Converters. I will take this to Orlando. But this was at the uh, Inky Converters table. So I had the um, the base San Fran uh, lanyard, and then we had to switch to pens and inks. So we're going to undo this and take this to Orlando. So again, Inky Converters, I bought that bought that from yeah goodie bag and so i have to empty out this bag so i can take it to the next pin show so we drop we drop the sticker on there we should you know what i should probably take the sleeve with me just in case it's like stickers or something like that i can use it um i can use it like this we'll keep that that goes back in the bag um use mask can't tell Fresh mask. We'll keep that one. Um, pin holder for... Yeah, that's always a good question, Rewizzles. I started to put pins on it, and then I stopped. So I tend to... I'll put a few pins on my shirt. And since I'm wearing this bag the whole time, I'll put them on here too, right? So it gets to be too heavy. And then if I have the lanyard, 
and the bag. This is the over over the shoulder bag, so the bag cuts across the pins on the lanyard. So I ended up not. So I'll just I'll put them on here or pin them to my shirt outside of the um, the strap outside of the way of the strap. So if I wasn't carrying the bag, I would probably put them on my lanyard. What did I miss? Just swaggy stuff, swaggy stuff. So this was the Scogsy pin rest that came with my pin. Um, Boston right? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, so with uh, when you buy a Scogsy pin, um, this is the pin rest that came with it. So that actually needs to stay out here. Brad, do you use the locking backs on the pins to help you secure them? Yes, I do. So I have all the. Uh, you can see them coming through here. So yeah, I do. Is that it? Might be it. I think we did it, chat. That's it. All right, good job by you. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Neo Wiz Master, 48 months of sub and good grief. Hope you're doing well. That is amazing amount of subs. Months of subbing. So cool. The cheers didn't come up, but I will cheer for you. Let's go. Let's go. Anyone here have experience with a narwhal nautilus cephalopod black? Anyone have sources for blotter paper other than G. Hermal? Anyone? Anyone got those things? All right, so let me look through here, see what we can give away. Uh, this needs to go back here. Masks need to go back in here. That is a used mask. Used mask can go in the trash. Those can go back in here. Anything else for Orlando can go back in here. That stuff can stay here. Throw it. All right. Let's see. So now I gotta do something with all this. Oh, Lamy for Life. That was you. Perfect. You have so many different online names, I forget. There we go. All right, there's some blotter papers. All right, oh, we're not giving that away. So let's do, let's see here. We can do the pen rest, the Yamamoto, and the rickshaw stickers. Then let me see what else I got going on here. Let me, uh, oh, we need that with the Orlando stuff. Stickers. Um. This was Jasmine Marie plans, by the way. All right. Stickers, glitter, grease. All right. Stickers, pictures, buttons, stickers, stickers, trash, stickers, Bookmark stickers, <clears throat> stickers, business cards. All right, y'all y'all enjoy the, my commentary. Bueller, Bueller. A little late to the stream, but did you get a chance to get the bung box fountain pen? No, not yet. Not yet. We're holding out hope. I do not own that pen. Slack. Slack was calling me out last night. Brad already owns the pen. Brad doesn't need the 823. He's already got I don't own the pen. I don't own the pen. There's no pen. I don't own it. Heard a rumor you took the prototype home with you? I wish. I wish, Chad. I took a picture of the prototype that I took home with me on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pen fam, what to do? All right, let's give this away. So, rickshaw, postcard, 
and sticker set. Uh, quadrupod, uh, pen rest, and Yamamoto uh, paper test kit with the cool little loop here. So, San Francisco pen swag giveaway, okay? We'll give this away. Silly San, as soon as I'm, the next thing I do when I end stream today is I'm going to get your cases. That has got to be the next thing I do. If I forget this, I am the worst person ever. Again, I'm not worried about the invoice. I will do the invoice. If you didn't take it home, then explain the color of your shirt today. Like I made a comment earlier. It's like that pen matches the shirt. Like I should have just come home with it, right? <clears throat> yeah, explain. That's the conspiracy theory, Paul. So just start that. Did you see Brad's shirt on stream? That clearly means he owns the 823 and he's just lying to all of us. Did you see the shirt? Tinfoil hat. Dot com. Right? Yeah, it's more of an in memoriam, right? It's more of an RIP situation. Clogger666, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. All right. And the giveaways are definitely not rigged. All right. Let's do this. I believe all conspiracy theories. <laughs> all right, San Fran swag bag, exclamation point, raffle, tinfoilhat.com. You too can enter to win. Swag bag, swag bag. Um, I'm gonna put sticker swag in the sticker swag bag over here but I need to be using some of this stuff. We're just gonna set it aside for now. See, Andrew, Andrew, this is what you need. This is all sticker swag, mostly rickshaw. So Andrew could build this and it's just be like swag, sticker swag. You know, this is all my old swag stuff. Pens. Oh, look at this, old podcast stickers. Oh, I can take these to Orlando. More pack of stickers. If you're in Orlando and want Panatic stickers, come get them. So this is what you need, Andrew. Just a place to keep all the stickers. Look, Brooks stickers. Oh, look at this ink. Ha, it's the second giveaway, Glyph. You're late. Look at all these stickers. So you need a home for you need a home for your swag and this is mine. What's this? Oh yeah, that ink goes in there. We don't want to look in this bag. Did you pre-order the 14 Pro? No, I didn't even talk about the phone. Is it already available for pre-order? I don't totally keep up with that stuff because I don't have to have it like day one. I do order a new phone every year. That's like my one vice. Like I do order the new phone every year, but I don't like like have to be like day one to get the exact color and the thing. So you can pre-order on 914. Remember when conspiracy theories were fun? True, true. Mm -hmm. iPhone pre-order tomorrow? Gotcha. Well, I need a sticker book to remove things from the sticker bag temporarily, right? Pre-register for the pre-order. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. In October for the pre Cool. The only thing I need, like, I usually go through like two cases a year because I'm very particular about my cases. My one bite, sorry. That is like, like I don't need a new phone every year, right? But I do, I do treat yourself <laughs> to a new phone every year. But then like my laptop, I will use my laptop until it's dead, like dead in the water. And this is like not that much cheaper than like the laptops that I buy. <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't I don't run to the the pre-orders, but like I do I do tend to go through cases. So this is the first time I like I haven't uh, gotten a new case because this stuff bothers me. Like I really I like just like the basic cases, but when they start like falling apart, that's one of my particulars. 
one of my many particulars. So, but now we just wait. We just wait. So yes, I will order a new phone. I work for T-Mobile for five and a half years. I've only one new phone every year is my compromise. Nice. Team Mini 12. So um, Jay Miller, if y'all caught the stream, that's what he has. I mean, he's getting a new phone this time. It is such a good phone. It is such a good phone. What do you do to your phones, Brad? Like, it's in my pocket all the time. So, um, so I'll usually go through two cases per phone. But this one, we've only gone through one. But now it's driving me nuts. All right, let's do this giveaway. You have the orange leather. Nice. Pick a winner. El Blum Mikon. Did you change your name? Mikon. Android user here it might be a brick, but it's a cheap brick. Fair. I have no no qualms. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about a Android. El Blum Mikon. Did you change your name? I like it, if that is you. If that is the former, the former Elblom Molly. You change your name so you could remember Mekon? Yeah, I'll, so like I'll totally say Mekon. You change it so I would remember it? I still can't remember it. You put way too much, much faith in me. <laughs> you put way too much faith in me. This is a cool kit, you will enjoy this. You still, I'm still gonna make you email me though. I don't care how many times you win, I make y'all email me because it's a workflow situation. <laughs> if I don't get an email in the inbox, I don't remember to send you the thing. <laughs> so it's not that I don't have your address from a multiple time winner. Peggy Love, I think I owe you a pen. <laughs> a return trip, maybe? Is it you? I'm having brain lock this morning. It's your fifth win. Shh. Shh. Zero win club crew is going to get you. <laughs> Peggy Love, thank you for the 22 months of subbing. You're awesome. I appreciate you so much. So rigged. So rigged. It's okay. Rafflebot doesn't even know some of us exist. Thunder Viking will go down in history, Chad, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> all right, let me put this together so I don't lose all of the things. I'm getting my giveaway swag mixed in with the swag I need to put away. All right, what do we need to talk about before I head off to Orlando? Any questions y'all have? Vikings never win the chip. Ooh, that reminds me, member chip. While y'all, while talk amongst yourselves, I have a member chip I need to mail before I forget. So let me do that. I'm glad you said chip. Pack of purple plumes. Got to chew the, try the new Mont Moth Mini at the store in London. What did you think? About five dollar jet tech because past few years are supposed to be temper cases, but hell, oh nice! I need to look at cheaper cases. I'll usually buy the Apple silicone one first, and then something else like the second time. Oh, what if anything would cause you to open up the wallet this weekend? That's a that's actually a really good question because I've bought so much recently. Like, there's nothing on my shopping list. Like, but like we know how that goes, right? Um, maybe some maker stuff. I don't know what's going to be there. Like something like that would be, would be interesting. My next case will have MagSafe. Gotcha. So, whoops. So yeah, like that's a good question. Um, you know, I'll definitely be buying work stuff, review stuff, giveaway stuff, um, personal stuff. I don't know. We'll see what maker stuff we can find. What pins are you bringing to the show? Any for sale? I didn't even consider 
bringing any pens for sale to the show because I don't even know what's for sale yet. We'll do that when I get back. Um, I don't know. Is there anything you want me to bring? I was just going to bring kind of what I got from San Francisco, what I have currently inked, which isn't honestly isn't that much. So if there's something you want me to bring, I can um, get it right now. Conid, I'm not bringing the Conid. <laughs> Unless you want to buy it for a lot of money. I am selling, I'm selling my Conid and I'm selling it for a premium and I don't care. The Conid I am, I will be selling at a premium. What show Orlando Pin Show is this weekend? Actually, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. It is your birthday week. See, you're going to tempt me. All right, let me do this. Greg trying to tempt me. I bid 8000 for your con. I would sell it for 8000 right now. This is PayPal me. Hello at PayPal.com. <laughs> I'll, I would even ship it today. <laughs> but I don't want to bring it. Because I'd be tempted to ink it. And I just don't want to deal with that. Yeah, so I don't know what would tempt, the, tempt me. Eight thousand yen sold. It was a trick, y'all. Y'all trick questioned me. It was a trick question. Out of the loop. What's the deal with Conid? Um, they made really high quality pins and then went out of business. Not out of business. They stopped manufacturing pins, mostly. But they keep threatening to come back. It's just a really nice, really expensive pin that's very like high over engineered, um, and they're not available anymore. So. Do you have a Kara's Render K Mini FP Brown? I used to. That one I sold years ago. I think I sold that at the Baltimore Pen Show uh, a while back. Or that actually might have gotten stolen at the Baltimore Pen Show. I did have a story about that. But I used to have one. It wasn't a mini, though. It was a full-size uh, ink. Ink? Um, do I have the Conan in here? I'll show you all the Conan real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's a long, weird story. And I'm pretty sure it was stolen. But, whatever. All right. Uh, any experience with Pelican ballpoints? No, but I love the shape of them. They are always tempting me. They're expensive, but you know I've bought expensive ballpoints before. But I, I, I really like the design of them. But I do not own one. All right. So this is a conid. This is my conid. Uh, an example of a conid. So, um. Generally clear barrels, some smoky bits. This was a, a special uh, Monarch Orange edition they did in collaboration with Fonta Plumo out of the Netherlands. Um, and they just do a really good job at manufacturing and they have a unique filling system. Um, there's this whole mechanism that's in here to fill. Like you, you'd have to go look at some of the, some of the diagrams to see how they uh, put this together, this piston filling mechanism. So, yeah, it's just a very like super over engineered type of pen that's really really good. So there is a there you have there is a special trick on how to work it. Like you actually have to put it in the ink bottle with this down, draw it up, twist it, push it back down, and it fills it like it's called a bulk filler. Um, 
to to like get like a complete like a full capacity fill so it's a little bit different than like a standard piston if I ended up with a K405 would you want to borrow it for review probably not and I say that only because I'm really extraordinarily slow on getting that getting those things back so I try not to um, borrow too many pins. Is this number 21 of 25? Were there only 25 of these? I think the price just went up. Is that what that means, chat? Twenty one, twenty five. Is that what that means? I really didn't know that. We're adding zeros as we talk. So... Yeah, definitely give me the deets. I would like to hear about it. Um, I just I, I have to be careful about borrowing too much stuff. I have two things on my desk right now that I owe people returned, and I've had them for months, and I haven't even started looking at them. So like, it's just one of those personal things where I'm not going to hold someone. I can't promise a quick turnaround on things, so I tend not to borrow them. As I sit at two two products right here that I borrowed, so. I have a Montblanc 114 in small pin. I need I like those small Montblancs, and I like those small Pelicans. Congrats, one child goes to college. Is that really what that means? Is that, is that 21 out of 25? Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. So this is the Minimalistica model, I believe. They have different sizes. They have a bulk filler. They have a giraffe. Look up Glyph. Google Conid Giraffe. That's what you need to look at. It was so much. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull up the Conan Giraffe for everyone. If you're not familiar, this is one of the wildest pins that they made. Kind of as a joke. Measuring an impressive 19.7 centimeters. Is that impressive? So it's basically like two, that Conan I just showed you, it's about double in length, right? But same diameter. It's, it's, it's crazy. I don't know. There's not a good, there you go. That's a better picture. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is Brad. Thank you, Digital Medievalist. So this is mine. Is mine really only 21 out of, is mine numbered? I'm sorry I'm fixating on that, I just didn't realize that. I knew there weren't many of them, but. So yeah, Kona Giraffe. This bulk filler is a big pin in its own right. Yeah, it's like a dog who gets into a panorama and the middle gets stretched out. That's exactly right. So yeah, that's the giraffe. I've got to hold one. One of my friends uh, that comes to the Atlanta Pen Show um, brings their conids. <clears throat> nice Twisby's right. <clears throat> Just talked to the shipping department. He added the extra money for Mike. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. I will get that into his hand. I cannot wait to get that to him. And if I can get that to him while he's with Steven, that would be even funnier. <laughs> it's just madness. Madness, I tell you. I've been waiting today for the new release of Octopus Fluid. Oh, nice. I do want to, I've heard about those. I need to try those. All right. <clears throat> Were some blue 823s released? They were. So some people on Slack got their emails and orders last night. I have not. I do not own the pen. <laughs> I would like to go on record. <laughs> again, chat. I'm going again. I do not own the Fujiyama Blue 823. I'm only wearing this shirt <sighs> for outrage. No, I'm just kidding. Um... All right, we're going to wrap it up. Do you know how many? I don't. So the first batch of emails was 30 emails. 
and then they send out more emails as those people order their pens and they have five days to order. So this could be stretched out for quite some time. So I'm not going to sweat it. That's a pencil case blog picture. If I've ever seen one, right? Exactly what someone who does own the 823 would say. <laughs> seriously, do you have the pilot uh, 823? I seriously do not have the pilot 823. I'll look you right in the eyes. I don't have that. I don't have the Fujiyama blue 823. I'm, tr I'm in the queue like everyone else trying to order it. So I don't own it. 100% promise. All right, my voice is shot. We're going to wrap it here today, chat. I have a lot to do this afternoon to get ready for Orlando. I'll try to share some Instagram pictures this weekend. Um, do I have an NDA with Bung Box? I do not. But if I did, I couldn't tell you. But I do not. Uh, <laughs> you're kidding me, but people... <laughs> People don't believe me for some reason. If there's anything, I will tell you I'm honest. <laughs> I will tell you if I don't. I'll tell you if I can't talk about something. I can keep secrets. Um, I If I own things, I will tell you. If I got special favors, I will tell you. I got nothing. I don't have it. So, <clears throat> But uh, my voice is shot. Got to save it. Got to save it for the rest of the weekend because I'll be busy. Busy talking. So. Part of the embargo, Ben, right? The NDAs that can stip that stipulate can can't mention the NDA is a huge heck no. It's been a while since I've had an official NDA. I have had to sign them for some products though. It's been a while, not probably in the past year. Eight twenty three, let's go. I will tell y'all if and when I get to order my eight twenty three, and if I don't, so be it. There'll be a next time, right? I'm not gonna sweat it too much. All right, we will be hopefully on Instagram. Maybe we can do an Instagram live from Orlando. I said I'd do that in San Francisco. It's just too busy and too loud to like actually do that, although people did it. So maybe I will do that in uh, Orlando. Don't hold me to that like anything else. Don't hold me to anything, but I will try. I'll try to share some Orlando stuff. Since there won't be as many people sharing things from Orlando as like San Francisco, I didn't feel the need to like constantly just add to it. Um, here, there might be a good opportunity to um, to share what it's like, like as an as an experience. So, um, see Miss uh, Miss G's Crafties there, blue uh, chromiunia swatching inks. Uh, okay, let me do that. Let's find someone to throw it to. That would be great. Is Mike going Friday night walk around? I don't believe Mike is going. You may do a live stream tomorrow. That would be great. So Miss G's Crafties class is like at eleven. Right? 11. I think I'm going to get there probably right when it ends. Um, so yeah, well also, it's also internet dependent, right? We never know how that goes with uh, pen shows, pen show hotels. Mike and Audrey aren't going. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think FC is going. How long is your drive? When I looked at it uh, yesterday, it was five hours and eight minutes. So, and I will definitely have to stop for breakfast um, and get and uh, gas. So, probably five and a half, six hours total trip time. All right, we're gonna go go raid Blue Chrome Mina. Boiler ride, I'm in Miss G's Crafties class tomorrow. Nice. Hopefully I don't get too much traffic. Yeah, it'll just be Orlando traffic because I'll be leaving so early here. Like, I'll probably, like, have breakfast in Florida. Like, that's how early I'm planning on leaving here. So I will see y'all that are here, there, tomorrow. And I'll see the rest of y'all online. And we'll be back streaming next week. Next week's schedule is normal, all right? Y'all go have fun. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being awesome. Love your faces. Bye. <laughs>